This test is simple. We've covered up the logos to remove any preconceptions about performance. Then our family will make some toast and decide which is best. Hopefully, one of these will be the best thing since... Ah, uh, sliced bread. Hilarious, although not everyone agrees. Let's fire what? up toaster number one, shall we? And what this lot don't know is that it's the most expensive on test from Duolit, costing £100, and it comes with doorstep-friendly extra-wide slots. But that's not its only trick. You can actually have a little look at it whilst it's toasting to see how you're getting on, and it doesn't reset anything. Yeah, that'd be really good. Oh! oh. We have poppage. Let's have a look. This one should... I think it's just a bit under on the one side, as opposed to the other. That's fine. Let's get some spread on them while they're hot. What are your thoughts? It's not too bad. It's just like warm bread at the, the end zone. I do like the peak function, because yeah. ours, when you peak and you put it back down, it resets, so that's why you always have to keep an eye on it as well. And it's not long before all that crunching wakes Harrison for a spot of breakfast. Harrison, what do you think of your toast? Is it nice? Are you nice? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Oh, ten. Ten, ten out of ten. ten. Well, after a mostly positive reaction, we're moving on to toaster number two. And it's actually the cheapest on test from Cookworks, costing 32 quid. The Cookworks toaster also comes with wide slots, so you can happily pop in crumpets, bagels or baps. It also features a reheat setting, which is impressing fate. If we are busy with the kids, sometimes, you know... Um, it you don't want, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. You don't want to put it back down to then toast it even more, and then we end up with burnt toast again. So I like the reheat facility on it, yeah. For a fair test, like the Duolit, we're toasting our bread on the middle setting. But despite seven levels of browning, it's clear going down the middle of the cookworks produces some rather anemic-looking toast. For us, we'd like it more done than that, yeah, definitely. So, back in it goes. But even once it's reached a satisfactory colour on one side... Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Not that one's so a bit good. under around the edges. It's patchy on the other. I think taste-wise, this is a bit... Dry. Yeah. Yeah. A bit dry. Yeah. A bit too burnt. Yeah, you'd be having a lot of extra calories to get the butter on there to make <laughs> it moister. So, a disappointing show from our budget toaster. Last up, our mid-priced option, the Breville Aura, costing £49. I like the look of this one. OK. I'd, this, from just initially looking at, was my favourite. And it's got a setting all the way to nine. That's right. Fine-tune it for your perfect slice. Alongside nine degrees of browning control, the Breville boasts illuminated buttons and has a lift feature, which is meant to make it easier to get your toast out. And is it an easy motion to push it up further? No, it, it starts to wobble, so I feel like I have to put my thumb, up. and it is a little bit warm on there, so I wouldn't okay. like the kids doing that. So, warm fingers, and despite also being put on the middle setting, what looks like warm bread? We've got very uneven toast. OK. Mm. Just like with the cookworks, to give the toaster a fighting chance, the bread has to go back in. And then it's crunch time. You can tell just by buttering it how dry it is. Yeah. When it's dry, I think, oh, is the bread off or something? It's something to do mm. with the bread. But just from these, and it was the same loaf, I think it's the toaster. Wow. Toaster. Mm. With our family full, they all need to agree on which toaster is best. Will they go for number one, the most expensive on test from Duolit? Number two, the cheapest option from Cookworks. Or number three, our mid-price machine from Breville. So for us, I think... Number, number one. one. Number one. Right. Very, very interesting. Well, number one is the most expensive one on <laughs> test today. Really? Yes. Oh, we have expensive taste. <laughs> <laughs> so this toaster comes in at £100, wow. which is... A lot for a toaster. It is, yeah. Yeah. But, as you said, it actually makes the toast taste nicer. Yeah. Knowing the price now, would the duolet still be the one you go for? I would, because there's no point paying money for those that does exactly the same that what we've got at home, so I would pay to improve on the toast. So, when it comes to top toast, it seems you need to pay top dollar. Thank you to today's toast taste testers. <laughs>